I'm kind of eyeballing it. So I'm being a circle the size of this. Uh, no, uh, no, no. The egg is not like that. The egg is like this. I'm kind of um, I'm freehanding this one. So I'm going over and over and over again until I get the lines that I want. I can get an eraser. Underneath the toilet paper roll. Okay, so I'm happy with this shape right now. Um, it comes to a nice, what I'm looking at is it comes to a really nice point. It's smooth all the way around and it's nice and fat, which the one in the picture is also fairly fat and wide. Thank you. 
And I don't know if you guys are watching me, but when I sketch, I tend to hold my pencil like this and then use like the side of the um the lead. Yeah, because I find it gives me like a nice softer edge. So like I actually hold it like this and then when I'm sketching, so I'm gonna sketch this egg off to the side. The first thing I'm noticing is that it's on an angle and it's pointing about this way. So I'm just creating a line just for, uh, just to make sure I get the angle right. It looks like it's this far away from the bottom. So then I'm gonna go in. And the fact that I'm holding it to the side what I find it does is if it's like this, then my motion is very much um, stuck in my hand, right? There's not a whole lot I can do. When I hold my pencil like this, I get my whole wrist and my whole arm involved. So I end up actually getting like much smoother motions for myself. That's one way of sketching. You don't have to take it if it doesn't work for you. It's what works for me. And that's way too big. I'm just noticing right now how much bigger this is. So I'm actually going to shrink this a little bit. So then if I do my erasing, there you go, I'm happy with that. That looks good. <laughs> I'm cleaning up my lines so you guys can see them a little better. Okay, um, so then my last egg is an interesting shape. It's kind of like long. So I'm looking at where the end is and it's kind of like right here. And then it goes back. And I'm rounding it out to be a little more egg shaped than the one that's in the picture. I'm happy with that. And then there's like, I'm just gonna do a quick little bowl underneath to like symbol, uh, to show where like the nest is. Right there. That looks good enough. Um, and then there's just these flowers around it, right? So I'm just going to create little circles that just symbolize the flowers themselves. So there's one right here. Second one right here. 
third one right here. One like that. Do, do, one, two, three, four, five, Cool. That's all the flowers that I'm doing. You can draw them a little more detailed if you want. I tend to just kind of like, for me personally, I like to do like just broad sh shapes just to let me know where everything is. My painting? My drawings? Very line, very line. Oh. Well, it's just the uh yeah. the three eggs and then some like rough drawings of where the uh, like yeah. just circles of where, where the flowers are. I've always been more um yeah. like an impressionist sketcher. You guys can go around cleaning up your um, graphite lines if you want. I kind of want to keep mine in there. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, my original sketch is on there. I kind of want to see them through just because it adds in a layer of interest. So we have to get rid of it now? You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm not going to. But I have to do with light. If you want to, otherwise you are going to see the marks through your painting. I am going for that look. Okay. So yeah. <clears throat> okay. So the first thing we are going to do. The first thing we are going to do. If you want to see it, you can. I want to see mine at the very end. The lines. Correct. Okay. Yes, you. that's my personal preference. Okay. okay. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a viridian green. I have a viridian green, but none of you do. And so I'm going to help you guys mix one. What it looks like is this really nice, like, turquoisey green. Okay. Back a viridian green. You guys don't have one. We have to mix one. Yeah, for sure. Yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the green. Put that right there. And then we are going to add our ultramarine blue, which is our dark blue. I'm slowly adding blue until I get the color that I'm looking for. You have way more green than you think you do. The dark blue, the ultramarine blue. Wow. 
you mix the um the green with the ultramarine blue. I'm happy with that color. I always, well, this is the background, but it's going to be going on light. So not very much. But I always like to overmix my colors, like mix too much of my colors, just because then I don't have to like keep mixing them over and over and over again. Also, I can like, once I'm finished with the color, I can just use that to like mix other colors in. That's okay. Is it, what What do you think? Is it too blue? Is it too green? Jennifer, what I had mine was too blue. I just put in more green. Dark, dark green now. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do a wet on wet wash with a yellow, that viridian green we mixed, and then our original sap green. And we're going to kind of play with it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is with your clean water, we are going to wet all of our paper except for the eggs and the flowers that we have. That's why we outlined them so that we knew where they would be so we can avoid those areas. <laughs> Take your time with this. So I'm going around my eggs and I'm going around my flowers so that none of my paint flows into those areas. Make sense? So we're doing what is called a wet on wet wash. So we're wetting our paper, which is the first wet, and then we're picking up our paint with a wet brush. That's our second wet. So I keep on going back in, picking up more water. Uh, is it drying up? Then yes. We don't want this to dry. So if it's starting to dry, then add more water. But the nice thing is, is that once you have it nice and damp, the water will just naturally flow into the areas that it's already wet in. So I'm doing this with my flat brush, you don't have to. I just uh, wanted to save the paint that is on the brush that I use to mix to like add in. So I'm using a different brush, but you don't have to do that at all. Use your small brush if you are not confident with going around the lines of your, of yeah, use a small brush if you're not confident um, with your ability to carve around the the eggs and the flowers. So far. Not really, no. Okay, so once you have your paper nice and wet, we are ready to add our color wash. The first thing I'm doing is since I have that Viridian green already on my brush, I'm just going to start adding that into the middle area. 
allowing it to flow where it wants to flow. And add it on this side too. Then on the bottom, we're going to add that sap green that everyone has in their palette. And at the top, we're going to add cadmium yellow for like a little bit of sunshine coming into the color. So we're not doing the whole thing with the green. No, we are doing a few different colors. Okay. So now I'm going to grab a little bit, just a little bit of my cadmium yellow, adding that in. That's way too dark for my liking. Actually, I'm going to add yellow ochre to give it more of a warm color instead of cold. I, I stopped following you. The yellow is just yellow? Um, it's cadmium yellow yeah. mixed with some um, yellow ochre. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm not filling in my entire space. I'm allowing some of that green to just kind of fade away. Oh, I have to put cadmium yellow and green. Sorry, cadmium yellow. I'm sorry, Julie. Cadmium yellow and um the other yellow ochre. Okay. I'm tired today, so my brain's a little bit a little bit stubborn at the moment. Okay, so then I'm going to add some of that sap green that I have. Where's the yellow going? At the top. Well, we are working wet on wet, so it is fast because we don't want our paper to dry. But you don't have to keep up with me. I just want to add the color there so that you can see it. I'm kind of working fast so that you guys can see exactly where I'm adding my color so that you don't um, accidentally like add color where it's not supposed to be. Yes, if it's too cold for your liking, you can mix it up with a little bit of yellow ochre if you want to make it a little more warm, like of a warmer color. If it's starting to dry, all you have to do is add more water. Have fun with this, you know, like doing wet on wet for me has always been a really fun experience because you can kind of just play with it.
Then we have to wait for this to dry. Yes. I did. Yeah. I might have to lift that up though. So the nest is supposed to be brown, which is fine. It can have a little bit of color in it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm lifting out some of that color that we just added. So I'm taking my medium brush. I'm wetting it in some color. I am pulling it out with my brush not with a paper towel because I want to be able to control how much I lift up Oh, what color are you outlining the egg? I'm not outlining the egg. Oh. That's a nest. Where, where, where that little section is. I just pulled out the color. I pull, I lifted. What color is it there? I lifted off the color, Iris. Lifted. You don't have the nest. What color do you have the nest? I don't have. Oh, uh, just brown. Yeah. But don't don't put any color there yet. Okay. Then lift it out. Don't put any color there yet. Right now we're just waiting for our backgrounds to dry. Me too. Hi, is it an actual mess or is it just like a uh, mess in your opinion? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Julie? Yes? I just wanted to ask you because just, is there a, I guess I have to wait for the outline for those eggs. I, I know where to, I'll keep the thing afterwards. There is no outline on the eggs. That opens, that's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We just didn't, um, we just didn't color in the eggs. So I guess it creates a little bit of an outline. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, okay. Exactly. Okay. So as we wait for our eggs to draw or a background to dry, what we can do is we can add decorations to our eggs so you can add polka dots you could add hearts you could add stripes you could add stars whatever you want um i'm just gonna copy it and like add oh yeah i'm just copying it i'm too tired to do anything imaginative today Okay, so can we use whatever color we like? Yep, go ahead. Use whatever color you want, but don't touch the edge of the egg okay. to the background. Like you can't put wet against wet, otherwise they'll flow into each other, right? So just keep that in mind if you are taking a different color and coloring the egg that color. I'm just going to work with... Um, the colors that are already there. I'm switched to a small brush.
And I'm just going to start creating some just different <laughs> shapes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm going to take alizarin crimson and do And then you know what? I'm going to add some yellow ochre in there just because I feel like it's missing a color. Of the pink, mine is gone. I don't know where it went. Yours is gone. Oh. Yes. And give you a lizard and crimson. Be very, very, very gentle with it. Okay. Do you, do you want it here, right next to the other one? No. Okay, just be very, very, very gentle. What? Do you have different colors? I tried to talk to the picture. And... What? What? Oh, you had a bad day because of me. <laughs> it's true. You didn't give me my water. <laughs> and me, I'm too loud. All my. You're so awake, my. Yeah, my paintings are very, uh, yeah, very bright. They're too awake. So, any colors? Yeah. Yeah, basically. I'm sorry? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, I have a plan so that I'm not bored of oh, crap. Oh, we can use whatever color we like again. You also don't have to do this exact shape. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of going um, more expert level because I feel like it. Just do dots. <laughs> do dots if you're not confident with your brush strokes. What are you doing? Decorating our eggs however you want. What, what color are you using? I'm using blue. Big one also? Well, big what? No, I'm doing the other small one. But yes, um, yes, you will have to uh, decorate that one. Are you using which blue are you using? You don't have to follow me exactly, but I'm using uh, the ultramarine blue, so the dark blue. The dark
But it definitely does not look very round. <laughs> You can if you want to, yeah. No problem. Good enough. It's okay. We're gonna leave it like that. Yeah, leave it alone. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna want to be uh, cute. <laughs> Yeah, we're dark. Yeah, just like the smash. Um, I think we're they took me. Thanks, guys. Pretty. I tried to help. Thanks, guys. Because I like it. Okay, do you want me to do you want to fix it? You want to get rid of the lines? Okay, let me grab my paper. You can get rid of the lines. Yep. If you hate how it turned out, yeah. then uh, you can lift it up. Um, lift it up. Uh, so now we just separated out that or off that right? And now we have to Where? So you're going to wet your brush first. Okay, 
and we don't have to cut all the mesh. Then you're going to go over and put that water on top. You're going to take the water and separate the hang. That now that your paint is sitting on top of the paper, you have to make it a Red and blue. Purple, you want this red and blue. Excuse me. That's about as much as we're going to look at. It's not a matter of I have to be Okay. How are our backgrounds? Are our backgrounds fairly dry? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no definitive answers there. <laughs> okay. Show of hands, who still has a wet background? Okay. Um, you know what? Mine's a little bit damp, wet still too. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking my big brush and I'm just going to soak up any pools of water that I have sitting around so that it dries quicker. I realize the top of mine is still wet, so. Okay, I've soaked up all the water, so in a few minutes that'll be finished. So what we can do in the meantime, um, what we can do in the meantime is we can add a circle of yellow ochre into the center of all of our of the flowers. So there's only three flowers that have that center. So this one does. Okay. Um, this guy does right here. I've never approached flowers in this way before, so this is going to be uh, an experiment for myself as well. Yep, at the moment they look like fried eggs, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know how I feel, but eh, maybe they'll turn out. <laughs> oh, still waiting for that background to dry. Um, 
let's add a wash of brown of that burnt umber into the nest area. So with a medium, with um, my, um, with a small brush, I'm gonna pick up my brown, which is a burnt umber, and I'm just going to add a very light layer. That's it. Trust the process. I know everyone's painting right now is in that awkward teenage phase where nobody likes it. It'll get there. We're going to build it up. Underpaintings are never nice. <laughs> Okay, how's our eggs? Are our eggs dry or are they wet? Nice, they're wet? Okay, we won't touch those then. They're all hatched. Okay. Make some chickens. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so since I'm still waiting for my top to dry and I'm getting impatient because sometimes it's what I do. <laughs> is I'm going to take that sap green, um, mix it with a little bit of blue so that it's not like perfectly sap green. I'm adding it into that Viridian crimson color. Yeah, that's pretty. We already have that green with the blue. Yep, so add a little more of the soft green into it. Yeah. And then I am dipping my paintbrush in the water, picking up that paint, and I'm going to start building up some depth in and around my eggs. I'm sorry, green with what color? Um, that emerald green that we had created just add more green into it. And I'm making it nice and messy. We're gonna keep on building up.
So if our background is starting to get dry, what we can do is we can start pulling out pieces of green. So in order to achieve this stroke, what I'm doing, um, where can I put this? I'm gonna move this over. Okay, so in order to achieve that stroke, what I'm doing is I'm pressing hard and then I'm flicking up. So as I move my brush up, I am applying less and less pressure. And what it's doing is as I'm lifting off, it's going, it's creating a point. So practice on your tablecloth if you want to, or tablecloth. Practice on your table if you want to first, um, because we are, the aim here is to kind of give the impression of grass strokes. And they're all coming out from behind the the eggs, this egg. So it's all like it's coming out of here and then they're all going out that way from it. So on one side, they're gonna be curving to the right, but then on the other, they're gonna be curving to the left. Your leaves, very or sorry, your grass uh, blades are very nicely done. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Your grass blades are nicely done. Okay. Yeah. I have to also put the other one too. You don't have to. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Beautiful. Hi. Very fun. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm,
They, they don't, they look like fried eggs right now. It's only because they're so far away. Yeah, they're just lost right now. I saw it. I saw it. I saw I saw it. 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 I Yeah, I'm afraid I could see Well, you added like a black uh, outline to your eggs. Um, well, we'll keep that. Add, add the shadow. Oh, you know what? They haven't been painting it on the shadow. Let me do that. Let me do that. We haven't been painting in a month. Well, we're just building it up. So this is only the first layer of grass. There's going to be a few layers of grass. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. It just has to be, it's, we're, uh, we're building up the mess so that eventually it looks like something. Nice and done. Okay, so now it looks like everyone's eggs are fairly dry. So now we're going to start adding some shadow to the eggs. And this is what's going to start giving, uh, providing depth to all of your eggs. So now that they're dry, we are going to mix a, a couple of shadow colors. The first one we're going to mix is like the semblance of um, a Payne's gray. So we are mixing together our ultramarine blue with our um, burnt umber. So we're mixing together a dark blue with our um, dark, uh, Dark brown. Yes, so the brown. Ultramarine? Yes, correct. It's the dark blue. Yeah. Yep, so we're mixing together our blue with our brown to get a Payne's gray color, which is like a grayish black. A grayish black, or yeah, like a grayish black. Sorry, a grayish blue. And then the second color that we are going to mix is more of like on the brown side. So I'm going to take my brown with some of that ultramarine blue. And then that's way too much blue, so I have to add more brown. Okay, that's to make the red. Okay. And then I'm going to add some, what, what is it? What happens if I add yellow ochre to this? Oh, nice. That's actually a pretty nice shadow color. It's yellow. Yellow ochre. So the, the, uh, Yes, correct. 
no not the bright yellow sorry the the orange yeah Yeah. the mustard yellow sorry yeah and so for my shadow colors i have two i have this really dark grayish blue and then i have like this greenish yellowish brown with a little bit of blue yes Okay, so now that we have those colors, we are going to add shad shading into our eggs. Okay, so our light source is this upper right hand corner. So all of our shadow is going to be on the right hand side. Okay, so if all if our light source comes here, that means all the shadow is going to be here. Does that make sense? Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start with the big egg and the big egg I really feel like it's um it's really reflecting a lot of the grass around it so I'm going with so I'm soaking my brush my brush is very wet so I'm dunking my brush soaking it to the point where it's like really filled with water I can tell like it's going to pick up very little paint because it's mostly water and then I'm dipping the tip of my brush into that color and i'm just going to loosely add go around this other egg yep and then so i'm adding a wash of that shadow color over the whole thing oh the whole egg yeah. No, not the whole egg. Sorry, over that like area. Oh, it's like a grayish color. Okay, if it looks green, you're going to have to add more red to it, I believe. I'm using the brown. No, I don't know. <laughs> It's um it's like a it's this brown color right here. Well, you have to add more red to it then. So you want it brown? Yes. Okay, it's brown. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> We're putting it around the bottom left-hand corner of the eggs. We're starting to create that shading on the egg. We're starting to create the shadow on the egg, so it's going on the, um, on the right-hand side of the eggs or of this big egg so far. And then I'm also going to put a layer on the bottom side.
Hmm? Can't get used to what? Yes, yes. So I did this one, I did this one, and I did this one. It's very brown. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little bit more apple food tobacco. Well, it's yellow. It needs to be like more of like a warm with a. But it's a shadow, right? So. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's. I do know I'm thinking, you know that. Why are you giving a blue? You're very But I'm the wrong thing. So I'm going to So now take a little bit of building. 
Okay, so now that we have that initial color, I'm going, now we have our initial shadow, I'm actually going to pick up the blue now, and I'm going to really define that shadow on one edge. So my one edge is going to have a well-defined shadow. The ultra blue. The blue that we created, the shadow blue we created. Okay, so I created the shadow. It looks intense right now, but I'm going to clean off my brush and then I'm going to pull it out so that it like, has a little bit of a fade, a little bit of a gradient. And see how that hard edge really gives it like a three-dimensional look? 
So again, I added my color. And now with a, a clean, damp brush, I'm pulling that one hard edge so that it's less intense. And it looks like it fades a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to do that to each one of my eggs. Let me see. So that brown shadow color we created. We can create small little hash um, strokes. And that will give the impression of branches in... Um, the nest. So I've taken that same shadow color, the same brown shadow color, and I'm creating small little, little tiny lines. So um, can I not move it anymore? Is that all I got? I think so. So I'm creating little tiny lines and it's giving me that, and that's how I'm getting my little nest look. This is definitely not one of my favorite paintings. <laughs> No, 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 no,
Okay, so the way that I'm going to get some of these flowers to look like actual flowers is I'm going to pick up some yellow and some different kinds of blues and I'm just going to kind of create some outline like add in the lines of petals with, what color? with some yellows and some blues depending depending So I'm just adding a little bit of shadow. So this is like a like a blue. Like this is like my ultra like a very light amount of my ultramarine blue. And then I'm going to add more of that yellow. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of orange. So I'm mixing together a cadmium red with a cadmium yellow to give me a little bit of orange that I'm going to put around the bottom of those, um, the, the inside of the flowers to kind of give them like a three dimensional look. And these definitely look like more impressions of flowers than they actually do look flowers. <laughs> um it's mostly blue yeah yeah very very light blue um yeah just a very uh, small amount of blue and then i'm taking green and i'm kind of carving out the shape of the petals so i approach i approach these flowers kind of wrong like don't do this <laughs> when you do this on your own 
I messed up. But it also lets me know how dark I have to go with my background. I'm adding some, some blue to the undersides of these pink flowers. The outer uh, of your, your red flower, what do I put to the color? I'm just using the green to like kind of more carve out. Yeah. Uh, And this might look a little scary, but what I'm going to do is that dark, dark, dark blue we created, the almost black blue, I'm going in super dark, like picking up quite a bit of that and going around, especially back here. And that's really going to create these like shadow colors. I overestimated how difficult this painting was, or I underestimated how difficult this painting was going to be. So that's my fault. Sorry, guys. Yes. I was waiting. I was waiting. Yeah, I was waiting for it to rise. I can tell you what to do, but I can't do it. 
Yeah, it will be posted on there. Not today. Eggs definitely are not easy. This is not an easy subject matter. Sorry, guys. Yes. I know some of them are way more successful than mine are. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. We, um, yeah, we still have half an hour. We are going to be like just continuing, continually like adding more um, depth. See how dark this one is compared to that? We have to like continue to build up the grass behind it. Thank you. 
It's uh, the background defines the foreground. Ah. So I'm going to continue to build up the grass. For those of you who are having a hard day today, I'm with you. <laughs> I am with you there. They don't look the same on that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's it's hard to with it's a projector. I'm going to call to her, but I, I'm going to call for her later. I think yeah, she'll make them see her. What time is it? <laughs> no afternoon. I want the afternoon. But I'm trying to get it early. Oh, I was looking at the other thing. Unless they go with you and watch it again. She thought I was taking to her That's what we're talking about. I want to be my mother. Yeah, that's I wish I could do with my. Uh, sure. Yeah, that works. 
Hmm? Yeah, that works. No, when when the I'm peeling it off and trying to see what it looks like. When I didn't show up at your painting because I wasn't feeling that. Yeah. I did. Nice. You had a second one. Eh? Yes. Looks good though. But I when I felt it, there, it started Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, the egg's tough because because of the fact that the egg's white, it's going to reflect everything around it, but sometimes they're like not pleasant colors. I don't think I should have shaved it away. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for putting up with this. Thank you. Last oh, that I've ever thank you. Yeah, I'm never going to do this again, so don't worry. Don't make it. No, we are not. Definitely not. I 
Yeah, I think that this uh yeah, this needs this needed masking fluid for sure. Yeah, the liquid frisket. Yeah, it's a learning experience. I I yeah, maybe like a palette knife after. Yeah. <laughs> It is. Definitely don't want to do it again. Tonight. Yeah. I'll call you tonight. Six, seven, seven. I was thinking about that. I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't see my I'm sorry, it's okay. Can I see my heart? I only have two I my message to try to check the go on whatever email. But I didn't have your your email. I already had you on message. But I'll get you my email as well. I'll send it to you. I didn't even use it, but I didn't you know I covered it. I never did art before. No, but I do. You know, I do the mainstay, and then it would be like, you know, I could, but it's it's taking time. Yeah, it's taking time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I don't know. Yeah, 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 I Oh, thank you. Your dad? My dad. dad. My dad. Uh, it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know what I could do for you? I want to see the arts. Could you say yes? Yes. 
We have to bring a grader. Oh, yes. Yeah, I did mine already. I think what did you do? I'm going to make a homotaxis. I'm going to do it for you. Oh, I love homotaxis. Yeah, you can be I see oh, what I'm going to be making. I thought it was chocolate mint. Ooh. That's interesting. Chocolate mint. Chocolate without the mint. Okay, so I'll see you next week. That's good. Wow. Oh, we don't know what we're gonna make next. Oh, week. yeah, we don't know. Okay. okay. We're reading. It. Okay. Where is Maya? I do. I want to see what you did. On your table. On my table. Newsletter that I get from the arthritis society. From here? No, from the arthritis society. Oh, yeah. Our greatest society is in the West Island. I used to take an exercise class there. Yeah, we'll meet the Monday. I miss the Yiddish kind that I don't yeah. get. I understand. I have to go to the West Island. Do you have any idea? No. Do we know what we do? Go to Paradise. Julie, you did a beautiful job. Yeah. Uh, thanks. I'm sorry I'm so difficult. You we're gonna, are. We're gonna we're gonna be very difficult to meet. Birch trees. She wants oh, birch trees. Yeah. Okay. I'm like going you. you. <laughs> You're good. I, 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 I just, I'm used to the oils and the. Not that anybody we're doing that. I can't. Bird Street. Yeah, Bird Street. Oh, okay. Is that sarcasm? All right. All be well. Yeah, be well, be well. Oh, those are the white ones with the uh, Bird Street. The white with the uh, swatches. Yep. Yeah. 
The first page, the right? Eventually, we will yeah, they're the ones the with the. Uh, I think there's blue in them. Yes. I saw somebody showing them on you. They're actually. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't have black and so we have to make purple that's okay. Right. wrong statement, but yes. Okay, where's my page? Where do I have my page? So we're all the Oh, no. We're doing merge page. Merge. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Oh, yes, I will. You know, we can pass the bag today. Don't not Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thanks again, see you next week. Oh, I Make like uh, yes. Yes. Okay, I did that too, but I can find it. If you buy it back and get him open the uh, folded finger. Oh, yeah. 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 I well, you can book them probably at the uh, murder fair or uh, at transit. Oh, no, I'm, I'm looking for them. I don't know. Fill in the ones there. Yeah, yeah, there's something in the box. Yeah, yeah. What is your box with the brushes? Oh, right here. Obviously, the photo came with this table. Yeah. Once I get home, it takes a lot better once it's away from the original. Yeah, it's, it's true. true. <laughs> I like this power. Yeah. I like this. You're like that very nice. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to practice these. I have to practice it. Oh, it's the battle with my egg over here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's still wet. It's so fun. Yeah, definitely. Okay, bye bye, everyone. Bye.
I refilled some of your your green, okay. um, but it's a slightly different green. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Not that picky. Perfect. You have a lot more green now, so you don't have to worry. All right. Three tubes are done. My friend wants to join when we sign up for the next session. Oh, perfect. Okay. The beginner, beginner, beginner. Perfect. Well, she's in good hands. Plus, if she sits next.